YouTubers, this is Tia from Musings of a Mystic, and I'm back with another pick a card, pick a deck type reading. My lighting is moving across my camera, which kind of sucks, but anyway, I'm going to try and do this quick because I've only got about 17 minutes to do this reading. Please remember these are not personal readings and will not resonate with everyone, and that's okay, no big deal, just means the reading is for somebody else today. And if you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, my contact information is down below. Um... Today's question is, what is going on in their life right now? So whatever person you're thinking about, hold their image in your mind. What is going on in their life right now? So the, the deck number one, number two, and number three. If you guys need more time, pause the video and I'll be here when you get back. Otherwise, we're going to get started with deck number one. Not quite sure where that voice came from, but okay. <laughs> so deck number one. What is going on in your person's life right now? It doesn't have to be romantic. It doesn't have to be even somebody who knows you. You just want to know what your person, what's going on in their life right now. Please remember, these are not personal readings and will not resonate with everyone and that's okay. No big deal. It's just a fun reading. Take it as my opinion. If it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't... Mm, don't worry about it. If you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, you can contact me through email and I will get back to you as soon as possible. What is going on in your person's life? Okay. Yeah, don't take that, they say. Put that back in there. Six of swords, the high priestess, and the nine. Uh, pinnacles. It really looks like your person is moving toward um, their own their own um, their own success. Their own independent success. This card indicates to me someone who has everything they need. Somebody who uh, has the the money, the food, the companionship, the independence. They're like financially independent. They take care of themselves. They pay their own bills. And it's like they don't really need anybody. And I feel like that's where they're moving to. But they're also working through some bullshit. Because this card indicates leaving crap behind. Leaving crap behind. Moving from the rough waters to the calmer waters on the other side. And they might not be talking about this a whole lot. You might also have intuition um, about what's going on and I think you should not ignore your intuition so if this person is leaving you behind but you kind of know that that's what's going on don't don't ignore that because you might kick yourself later for ignoring that um, they may also be using their own intuition to move from um, crying over spilled milk and <clears throat> like rough waters it's like this person kind of started off crying over this spilled milk and kind of not focusing on this relationship and trying to clean up other messes and they moved down the river to the ocean the water here looks kind of rough to me and moves down to the ocean where they're like okay i'm just gonna leave that rough river behind i'm gonna leave that mess behind and i'm going to move in a secret into a place where I am financially independent. I don't need anybody around me. I've got my pet, so I don't need companionship from a person. Um, and this nine, nine, it feels like this person has a very long standing plan because the nine turns into, turns into the ten, which is uh, the ten of pentacles where the person, the people on that card they have everything they need. Nice house. They've got the family. Um, and they're pretty happy and stable. So it feels like this person in their life, they've got goals. They've got depression, but they've also got goals. And they're moving up, out of the depression. And they're not the kind of person who's going to talk about this too much. They could be a Pisces or a Taurus or a Libra. Um... And it feels like they're just working on their own goals right now. So they can get here instead of being here. And they don't want to 
I kind of feel like maybe you're not talking too much to this person or they're not telling you everything and they, their real goal is just to be independent, which could be, um, could just be being single or just, you know, having their own job and their own money. So if that's not what you wanted to hear, I'm sorry, but like I tell the people who pay me for readings, you don't pay me to lie to you, <laughs> do you? No, you pay me to tell you what I see in the car. So anyway, that being said, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So deck number two question is what is going on in your person's life right now? What is going on in the seeker's person's life right now? Please remember, these are not personal readings and will not resonate with everyone, and that's okay. No big deal. It just means the reading is for somebody else today. If you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, you can contact me through email, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I think you guys have already done so. And I hope that others of you will also like, share, and subscribe. So what is going on in your person's life right now? Weird. Stress. Oof. Oof. Your person's having a hard time right now. They're trying, it's like their plans, every plan they've got, they're trying to, um, I'm not sure why I turned that over. They're trying to reach their end goal. They're trying to find their own happiness. Um, but this card indicates stress, having too much weight on their shoulders, having too much going on at one time. Um, this person might be heading for a breakdown because the Ten of Staffs is a very difficult card to get because it just like it's heavy and it kind of weighs you down. They might be doing the most right now and they're trying to do that because they want to manifest something. But I feel like they're going to be disappointed because, they're, like I said, they're doing too much right now. They're under stress. They're doing too much right now. I want to clarify with the magician. What is this? Nine of Swords. Yeah, your person's in a very hard, they're having a hard time. Um, I don't know what it is that's causing them to have a hard time, but they are, they're experiencing stress and anxiety or regarding what they're trying to manifest. They're trying to find their way. This, they're seeking knowledge right now. This is the Hermit card. They're a secret of knowledge. This could be a Virgo or an Aries or a Virgo with an Aries sun, moon rising or vice versa. And this person is just trying to find their way right now they're trying to figure out what to do um they could have lost their job i mean this is a hard time for everybody because we're we're in this pandemic right now and this person is suffering stress anxiety heartbreak and so they're trying to find a way out of it they're looking toward the future trying to find a way out of it they're trying to manifest the path for them to get out of this difficulty. I want to know what it is that they are stressed out about. What is this person stressed out about? Work. Yeah. They're kind of stressed out about work. This came out reversed. It's like they might want to work something out with a queen of staffs that left them behind, which could be an Aries, um, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And it's really causing them some stress here. It's like their cup might have been re rejected by this person. Um, and they're sad and, and they're having, they're depressed about it. 
they're heartbroken over it, they're stressed out about it, they want to manifest this, they might need to apologize to you, but you've blocked them, or vice versa, because this could be you, and this could be them, but um, sometimes it happens that way. But anyway, feels like in their life right now, they're stressed out about work, or working something out that kind of exploded with a queen of uh, staffs type of person. It could be closure that they need, but they can't get it because they are not connected to this fire lady anymore. And they're trying to find the way, but it's like they cycle, they're cycling around in this energy. So I hope that answered your question about what's going on in their life right now. This person feels like um, they owe you an apology even. And they're worried that they're never going to be able to give it to you. They're never going to be able to resolve the issue. So they are kind of just wandering in the wasteland. They might have found the information, but they can't give it. They can't use it because they can't connect to you anymore. Others of you know your person lost their job. So definitely take what resonates with you. I just saw 11 and 11. Take what resonates with you. And they do, <laughs> they do want to have a conversation. Um, but they can't right now. But anyway, make a wish. 11 and 11. Deck number three. What is going on in your person's life right now? What is going on in your person's life right now? Please remember, these are not personal readings and will not resonate with everyone and that's okay. Oops, two of air. No big deal. It just means the reading is with somebody else today. If you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, you can contact me through email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. <gasps> Excuse me. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, comment. I appreciate you guys who already have. Um, and I hope that you continue to do so in the future. What is coming toward... What What is going on in your person's life? Right now, what is going on in the secret person's life? Right now. Don't, don't focus on anything else. Focus on your person right now. Just one person. This deck is so big, it's irritating me. Sometimes to, um, there goes that two of air that came out. Your person, it feels like they're fighting for something. Um, you might want to watch deck number two. Feels like they're fighting for something, uh, but the heartbreak is still fresh and they're blocked. So they can't like, they can't resolve the issue because they're blocked. Um, seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Three of air. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others. This person might also be dealing with uh, someone being ill or sickly. This little thing, this little creature right here, this little horse to me looks very sick and ill and tiny and um, malnourished. They might also be fighting their own battle with being sick. Um... Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. And they might not want to go to the doctor because they're, they're afraid that it's, you know, something horrible. Oh, crap. That's two cards that fell out. Um, yeah, this person's being stubborn. This person is being stubborn. For some of them, it's about their health and they don't want to tell you why they're sick because they don't, people, don't want people to worry. Um, and they're kind of waiting to get better so that they can decide what they want to do so they can't make a decision right now because they're sick they're fighting a battle for their health and they don't want to um share the information because they don't want to freak anybody out and they want to be able to get over it and say okay i had this i'm better now and it is what it is They've also got the Knight of Water, emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, com contemplative, falling in love, or a wedding proposal, the need to balance emotions, invitation to a social event. The Emperor, I'm really looking more at these body languages here. 
than what the card meaning is because this purpose is not really open Organ organization logic structure and discipline leadership i thought like this person just not really open right now and it's because they they're either fighting off an illness or they're they've still got a broken heart that they haven't let go of yet so i kind of feel like this person is like blocking you from getting closer to them either because they're ill that could be mentally physically emotionally or spiritually or because they have a broken heart and they are not open to any kind of advance right now advances um now i know some of y'all will take that advice but most of you won't you might if it if it resonates with you and you take it and you kind of see this person is hurting or sick and not open to whatever you want to bring to them then good for you but most people won't take the advice to leave this person alone that's just the truth passionate adventurous self-assured not a fire a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence think things through carefully so i feel like this person is dealing with some sort of grief emotional and potentially physical grief and they're not open right now. They cannot make a decision about whatever you want from them or whatever you're wondering about regarding them. Um, they can't do that right now because they are fighting their own battles, whether it be, they be their own spiritual demons or their own physical um, health type demons. They are spiritual or um, mental, emotional. They're not ready for anything right now. They're fighting their own heartbreak. They're fighting their own battles. And they are not open to anything new. So I hope that made some sense to you guys. Um, I, I can feel that that's not what some of y'all wanted to hear. But it is what it is. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you need a personal reading, my information is down below. And so tall for now.